The Storm football team opened the home schedule in style with a 27-23 win over the University of Chicago last week to even their record at 1-1 on the season. The opponent this week, the University of Dubuque, to open up American Rivers Conference play. We'll talk with head coach Matt Jeter about last week's win and look ahead to the matchup with the Spartans this time on Storm Football Weekly. Joined now, as always, by head coach Matt Jeter. Coach, open the home schedule in style with a big 27-24 win over Chicago last week. Assess your team's performance in that contest. Yeah. Uh, very pleased. You know, we uh, we never lost that lead from from first quarter on. Uh, you saw some glimpses here, maybe in the third quarter and fourth quarter, where it could have kind of went either way. But the guys kept fighting and scratching and ended up pulling out the victory, 27 to 23, over a good Chicago team. Big plays on both sides of the ball, but. I thought particularly on defense, your safety, Brendan Holmes, creating three turnovers on his own. You came up with some big plays defensively down the stretch, especially that big fourth down stop when Chicago was driving to possibly try and tie the game or take the lead. Yeah. Brendan Holmes is a warrior for us. You know, he's a big time player for us. I mean, he started in almost 33 games now as a senior. And uh, anytime he's making plays like that, uh, pass breakups, cause fumbles, it's going to give us a good opportunity to win the football game. So uh, I'm glad he's on our team. Yet another big game from Sam Bartlett receiving, uh, but another guy who I think deserves a little notoriety. Uh, your your kicker is at Kreider. Um, last year probably didn't make as many field goals as he would have liked. Kind of some spot work here and there. This year he's got three made field goals of 35 yards plus. He's kind of become a weapon for you. Yeah, I, yeah, uh, really pleased with Zach. You know, I think he. Uh, we talked about staying in the moment and playing in the moment. There's nothing we could do about 2018 or, or those missed field goals, and uh, he just stepped up and made those plays. You know, that one right before half with three seconds left was big, put us up 17 to nine, and then we made a crucial one in the fourth quarter to, to, to kind of give us a cushion lead to make those guys have to go down and score a touchdown. And then uh, Bartlett's just been a stable, you know, the last two games is going to be a continue to be a target for us and got, got to continue to get him involved in the game early and see what he can do. Yeah, I think he and Tanner Krieger are really syncing up nicely. There's a good chemistry between those two right now. So first two games, first two games, non-conference, they're out of the way, wipe the slate clean. Now it's on to the conference schedule. You open up with a tough opponent in Dubuque, um, a team Kind of like us, you know, picked one spot ahead of us in the in the preseason yeah. rankings. They also come in one and one, losing to a top ten opponent in week one, and then winning their home opener a week ago. So you're going to travel to Dubuque on Saturday. What do you see out of the Spartans? Yeah, same tough team. They're they're a lot like us. You know, you just mentioned that we both played two top ten programs in the country in game one, and uh, both took a good beat down there, and then we came back and rebounded in, in week two and got better in all phases. So I'm, I'm looking forward to a good challenge. You look at the last two years we played them, it's been a, it's been a four quarter game, one overtime down there in uh, 18 or 17. And then, you know, this game well, last year was, you know, 10 to six with five minutes left in the game. So I, I see them as gonna be a hard fought game and looking forward to getting up there and playing a night game at six o'clock against Dubuque. Has last year's game come up in the preparation for Dubuque this week at all? Cause that, that loss stung particularly last year, he'd come in, with a chance at possibly look eye in the conference championship and then losing to Dubuque at home. Is there any any sense of uh, revenge this time around possibly? Yeah, that's a good question. Not not for me as much. Uh, uh, maybe some of the kids, maybe whatever whatever they need to do to motivate them to play the game on Saturday. Uh, for me, and it's just like we're in 2019, Dubuque's week one of our, or week three of our conference opponent. Let's go up there and take care of business. When you talk about Dubuque, they focus a lot of their offensive attention on the ground game. They've got Dwayne Allen, a returning first team all conference running back. He ran for a few yards against us last yeah. year. How are you going to try and quiet him this time around? Yeah, big thing tackling. You got it. Um, the last two weeks we haven't done a great job of, of holding the edge on the defense um, uh, at Bethel in the last week of Chicago. So with him, he's a guy that can go 90 at any point in the time. He's a big play type guy for those guys. So we got to make sure that Hey, when we tackle him, we got leverage, we got inside fitter, and we got outside fitter, and make sure that we're, we're trying to bottle him up, make sure he doesn't get the big play against us. And uh, which is going to put, you know, hey, they're going to run the ball, run the ball, and then they got the skill guys to go deep to as well. So we've got to be able to have enough hats to talk, take care of the run, but still have enough, you know, back end guys to take care of the pass and eliminate the big plays in the air too as well. A little bit of a different routine for you on Saturday, playing under the lights at Dubuque. How does that kind of change? what you guys do in uh, game preparation. What 
would have been a, an overnight trip yes. had it been, had been a regular kickoff. Now it's going to be a day trip. How does that change your preparation? Yeah, trying to stay as consistent as we normally do during the week. So we practice, only thing we did this week, we practiced at night at 6 o'clock to try to make it a game type situa situation. Um, but we're going to have pregame tomorrow at 8.45 and breakfast at 9 o'clock and then hit the road at 10 and do our pregame at 2 o'clock, just four hours before the game to try to keep everything the same as it is a, a, a 1 o'clock game. All right, Coach, good luck on Saturday. All right, go Storm. Kickoff set for 6 o'clock at Dubuque. If you can't make it to the contest, you can listen online at knakrls.com, where Rick Wilson and Andrew Swadner will have the call.